Good morning. It's the start of my third day. I'm in the communal kitchen of Hungry Hill Lodge. Uh, it's a nice little kitchen. They could do with some <laughs> additional dishware and silverware, but I'm here early and I grabbed the only bowl and spoon, so I'm trying to eat my cereal and finish this milk. Let me see how much milk this is. See that? I've got... I may have to just dump it out. I can't drink that much milk tonight. Or this morning. But I've got to finish the cereal. I'm trying to be quiet because it's I'm the only person in here and it's kind of echoey. So... Uh, well, it's a nice day so far. It's uh, a little bit... I see a little blue sky between the clouds here, but that's not, I don't know what kind of day it's gonna be. It'll be whatever kind of day it is, I guess. Ah, woof. Well, I gotta finish eating that cereal. Yeah. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> I just left a Hungry Hill Lodge past Peg Shop and going on. Their way up this little paved road for a while. It beats this paved road, which is really not <laughs> the happiest place for me to be on because it's pretty traveled with big trucks. Ugh. But uh, this is a quieter road, and after a while up here, then we'll be on another quieter road. All right. Well, this is cool. I just almost, I was so busy looking at the school that I nearly didn't see this sign. Da, and this sign, and that style. See, this is what I need to practice on. Paying attention. Okay. Well, another stick over the edge. And uh, up and over the stile, boys and girls. <sighs> Spiders. Ticks. No, ticks. God, I should have brought my tick spray out of my bag. Oh, uh, not too thrilled about ticks. I don't like even looking at tick pictures. I'm trying to think where I even have that tick spray. Oh, this is nice. We can handle this. <laughs> this is a nice way to start the day. It's not an uphill. It'll gradually work us into it. Nice. <laughs> and it's a beautiful day today. I don't get any ticks. This is... First off, I'm going over this graded bridge. Over whatever screen that is, and if I'd have looked at the book, I could have told you. But I didn't look at the book, so I can't tell you. But it's a nice little stream. All right, here we go. <laughs> and into the forest. Get past this. I can't. I can't. All right, I'm gonna have to back around. I can't get my backpack through this hole. Okay. All right, you have to be smarter than the style, right? Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Down the style we go. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, there we go. And come on the side. One of these days I'll get a little handier at that. And in to the woods. <laughs> okay. This is a uh, this is woods like. My very first cows. <laughs> okay. 
I'm familiar with cows. Don't care. As long as they don't have nuts on them, we're fine. Okay. Oh, hi, cows. Yeah. Okay, must be their favorite watering hole. Well, all right. They're nice looking. All right. Well, I'll just keep on trekking, cows. Yeah, they're cows. We're fine. <laughs> so you like that for a road sign. I'm going, I'm going obviously that way. <laughs> Here I'm overlooking, I had to go on. These are the mountains I came off yesterday. view. I'm going to be a long time before I get away from this view, I think. <laughs> okay. There we go. There was a sign earlier, just a little ways down the road, like 100 yards, 50 yards. And it had an arrow pointing to my left going, bear away. I'm going, no, surely they don't want me to go through this cattle gate. There's no trail. I think they got a little fast on the draw with that sign. What it meant was pretty soon you'll be coming up where you're going to turn left. So there you go. Uh -huh. There's my sign going off this little nicely sort of half track paved place up to here. And there's my sign. <sighs> Going on top of the mountain. I hope it's kind to me. I'm not into straight up today. Well, dang. I was hoping that was not my trail. Uh, hope again, Missy, because that is my trail to the top. <laughs> hope it's not as steep. It looks like we're going to have to crawl on my hands and knees, but maybe not. <sighs> well, on the good side, it seems by some miraculous, I don't know, by some miracle of being, I have got my Ireland Way app to work. I don't know, don't ask me how I did that. I dinked around with it in the kitchen of the Hungry Hill Lodge. <laughs> I must have hit the right button. I don't know, but I don't have my little blue person on it, my little blue light, but my line is red and it's on the trail and it's going where I'm going. So I don't know, we're just gonna take it. Ha, well, wish me luck. Yep, made it to the top. Well, to the top of, to here. And now, the little man says to go that way, up to that It's got to be better than this shaley type stuff. I didn't slip. It's just that from a distance, it looked like it went straight up. I well, sort of did, but not really. <sighs> well, better get going to the top of that hill. What are these bones from some exhausted mountain climber? <laughs> uh, well. I think I gotta go up this fence line or somewhere to the top there. I keep thinking there's a top and then there keeps to be more top. Maybe this has got to be the top, right? Up here? Let's hope so. Ah, a river of rock. Nice slabs. One slab. Well, I'm glad it's not wet. Well, it would be slippery in it, but rock right now is real. It's good. It's nice and my shoes are grippy. That's not, I got rubber tips on my trekking pole, so there we go. Dang, 
I tripped, crashed. Ow. Oh my god. Oh my god, blood. Duh. I don't know what I tripped on. Oh, take a pick. Any pick. Whatever. I just stubbed my toe on something. You know what's hard? It's hard it's getting up with a pack on. I have to scoot over to, to the side and get over on the grass. Ah, I guess maybe I should be watching where I'm going. Watching my feet. <sighs> Every time I think I'm... Am I whining? Yes. Surely, that's the top of the hill. Sugarloaf Mountain, I believe it's called, if I'm reading my, my book right. Which just accounts for all this shaley type rock. Somebody did a really good job of rocking this road. I tell you, you could drive, you could drive a truck on it, easy. Ah, I made it to this lake. Let me see, I'm going to mis mispronounce it. It's Loch Toberanavanaha. <laughs> That's as close as I can get, folks. <sighs> yes, when I get down there, I'm going to sit down, take my pack off, and eat some chocolate. Yes, that's my reward. I'm ensconced in a little bit of a, in a bank. Oh my God, and I got my umbrella. I'm using my umbrella as a bit of a windbreak. It's a shelter. <laughs> I was sitting here going, I need a shelter. There you go. Well, snug as a bug under an umbrella. Except the wind's a little breezy here. I'll just go like that. Ah. <sighs> trying to eat my... Let me see. Show you. My little dairy buttons. Yeah. Not all of them. Just some of them. Alrighty. I'm going to be headed, my, maybe my so much uphills are going to be done for now. Looks like I'm going to be headed down and across. According to my hiker app, I've gone six miles, 6.03 miles. <laughs> Five of them has been straight uphill. Well, I may be exaggerating, but it felt like it. It's getting a little chilly. Burr. It's windy. But as long as I keep walking, I'll be fine. I, I won't have to put anything else on me. On the, on the downhill side of getting into and I think there's a how do you say that the Kumar Kane Visitor Center pretty soon and I'm gonna stop there for some tea. It's not too far out of Glengora, but I heard I was supposed to stop there, so I'm going to. And these are cute sheep. They're nice and pretty and clean. Oh, look, somebody wants their picture taken. Uh, I just passed a man and a woman, a couple coming up the hill. They said they, they were staying in Glengora. They said there was a music festival, some kind of weekend music they said what kind of music, but I couldn't understand what they said. Probably blues or jazz or something. They were from, I don't know, they had a, either a German or a Swedish or something. I am so linguistically challenged, I, I don't know. Anyway, I kept thinking it was like the middle of the afternoon. It's not even 12 yet. It's a quarter till noon. It has gotten a little overcast and it feels a lot later. But I'm feeling pretty perky. I'm on the downhill slide. <laughs> That's always good. I was tired of uphill calls. There's a sheep picking around the corner. There you go. Well, off the mountain. Rewarded by a little single track cave type road going into town. Not bad. 10.9 miles, according to my hiker. Yep. 
so loved the hiker app being offline. I don't even know what I did to get it to work. It probably already was working. I just wasn't hitting the right button. Yeah, that probably was it. But anyway, it's nice to check that and go, yeah, there, there's my red line right on, right on the trail. Yay. <laughs> so, I don't know how far this goes into town, but sooner or later, we'll get in there. Not bad. Nice, quiet little road. You hear a little, little stream down in there somewhere. Rhododendron in bloom. Well, you can't see it now, but there was a whole bunch of rhododendron earlier. Well. All right. See, I wasn't lying. There they are. It looks like they've been planted for my enjoyment, for my viewing enjoyment. That's it. Back to the little little woodland track. Actually, I think it's part of the nature park. It gets me off the paved road. So I'll go on here for a while. When it comes to a, a junction, it says uh, hang a right. It gets you to Glen Gareth, but it gets uh, less actual road walking to get there if you go to the right. So I'll be going to the right. All right, this is Glen Gareth. Party central tonight. Sorry, Anne, but it's diddly eye music. Or as they'd rather call it, traditional music. But I'm going back to my B and B. Well, it's not really a B and B. It's a hostel. It's a bed and a bathroom. Does that count? Well, now I'm headed out of town, just a little ways to my wonderful little hostel. As long as I don't get run over. Nobody's coming. Nobody's coming. Let's go. You never know. You get run over in this joint. But I'm just going out of town just a little ways. I couldn't even tell you how far. A quarter mile? No, I don't know how far it is. It's a little it's a little jaunt. It's not bad. I got my supplies. Milk. I got some tagger bomb. <laughs> Dang, but that little square box of tagger bomb cost eight euro. It better work. But it's small and it won't take up a lot of room. So it's good. Oh, pretty flowers. Oh, and my rose of the day. Ah, the little ones smell the best. <laughs> 